Hi, hi. Another day, another lesson. Good to see you guys. Glad to see you're still doing your homework. Today we are going to be talking about, who was it? Who was it, Max? I think it's J.R. Schmidt. Hello, students. For those of you watching just for fun, I am Ashina, and these are a series of videos covering different digital artists. For our second artist in the series, like I said in the beginning, we are talking about J.R. Schmidt. Schmidt is a motion designer and 3D artist based in New York. He began his art education as a traditional artist, as most artists do, and then went to college to major in something called new media design. You're probably asking, but Machina, what is new media design? Well, it's a means of connecting technology with art. It's prevalent in commercials, advertisements, and even motion pictures. Whenever you connect the ever broadening horizon of tech with the cutting edge content of today's entertainment, you get new media. J.R. Schmidt clearly embraces technology and information when it comes to creating his pieces. However, he likes to let the structure of his work show through in the final product. That's where you get the low poly look, where objects appear fragmented and faceted. Let's say you are a motion designer like J.R. and you work at a studio that makes commercials. When the studio introduces a new project to you and your team, you have to start from the very, very beginning of a long process to get to that final commercial. It's a lot of work for 30 seconds. Let's see. There are sketches. There are style guides, storyboards, animatics, pre-production, model building and rigging, then animating, then cleanup, then a couple rounds of revisions, and then the final, beautiful, really polished result you see on TV. Sometimes you have to think outside of the box when you're working on a project for a client that's asking for something a little bit complicated. That's exactly what JR did when he was working on a project for Lego where they were requesting that New York City would be digitally built completely out of Legos. What JR decided to do was to collect maps of New York depicting its energy usage. He turned these maps into geographical data that he plugged into some fancy computer stuff and lots of work later he has a rather accurate 3D map of New York. Pretty cool, huh? Now, he doesn't have a YouTube, but you can see JR Schmidt's work on Behance and Cargo. Just check out my links down in the description. Students. Make sure you respond to the email that led you here with at least three sentences about JR so I can give you all good grades. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in class.